I cut it. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kohar here. I know it's been a while since my last video and I'm so sorry for that simply because a lot has happened in the past year. I left my job as a cabin crew in Dubai and then I moved to Canada but it's been a year and a half since I moved here and it's time for me to get this channel up and running again. With all those changes, um, it's time to switch things up here instead of talking about the lifestyle as a cabin crew, which I'm, I no longer am. I am now devoting this channel to um, digital art and drawing manga slash anime character, which is my specialty. So I can post some tutorial videos, tips and tricks and um, speed paint, drawing from references. And maybe in the future, I'm gonna post video to review some alternative uh, product that you can actually use to becoming a digital artist yourself. But before um, we get into it, please, if you like me or if you like this content, mash that like button right now. And if you found out that this channel is the right one for you and you want to see more of this, um, more of this kind of video from me, please do not hesitate to subscribe because it's going to help me and this channel grow so I can provide more content for you. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. So today we're actually gonna start from the basic, which is drawing the face of male and female character in anime slash manga style. And I'm not gonna get into uh, the details of the, the eyes because today's video is simply just about how to create the, the shape using the construction line that you needed to um, create, a, what do you call it? The symmetrical face of the the character itself and then the media that i'm using is my ipad pro 11 inch here and the stylus is the um uh the apple pencil second generation which they both uh work perfectly for me but remember no matter what kind of media um stylus or even the app that you're using because the, the basic principle of drawing is actually the same so it doesn't matter what you are using okay and I still I mean I hope you guys still can learn something from today's video so let's get started Let's open the app and then um, using the size of the screen here. First thing first, you gotta rename this layer as lines. Make it easy. And then you gotta turn on the drawing guide. And then you gotta choose the symmetry here. Move it to the left because I'm gonna draw the female face here and then the male face here. And yeah. So remember the step is drawing guide, edit drawing guide, and then choose symmetry. This symmetry helps you to create a perfect line, I mean, the perfect shape, because whatever you draw on the other side, it's gonna reflect it on the opposite side. So now we're gonna make a perfect circle first. Like this, and then you hold the other one with your finger, adjust the size, I think that should be okay. And then from that, the further side on the left here, or maybe on the right, whichever, because it's actually mirrored. So you pull a straight line like this, about this 
long. And then you create another one here, about here. Yeah, like that. It doesn't matter if it's look like so sharp because you actually can like adjust it later when you start drawing the sketch. And then in the middle here, you just pull a line as well. And then in the middle of the circle for the eyebrow line. And then you got to create another line here for the um, center of the eye. And then this one's going to be the bottom or the, the bottom lashes for the eyes. Um, it's entirely up to you how you want to create um, the size of these lines. It's actually going to be used for the size of the eyes itself because this is a female character. I like to make it like a big bright eyes around here. So so yeah, the circle, the middle line, the jaw line here and then the ears is going to be the, it's going to be from uh, the middle line of the eyes here because this is where you're going to put like glasses or something and then the neck is not too big because it's going to be look masculine so you got to pull smooth and small neckline here and then the color bone like I said the symmetrical um, line is very helpful to make everything um, symmetrical so that's it and then you can actually adjust this corner here to make it less sharp I don't think someone's chin can be this sharp. There you go. You got the shape already right now. And you want to make this um, layer opacity to around 40 percent i guess or it's all up to you whichever that um comfortable for you but for me i usually put in uh, 40. and you're gonna put the eyebrow somewhere in here eyes just a simple tip for the eyes you start by making the leaf shape like this and then you get a pull line here draw some eyelashes and then the nose is gonna be here but if I draw now it's gonna look weird so I'm gonna wait for the nose until I switch off the assisting, I mean the drawing assist here. So I no longer draw in two sides, which is just gonna be the last one. Because you still need the lips to be um, symmetrical. Okay, where to put the nose is usually here where the lines and the circle mat meet, whatever. And the mouth is around the cheekbone here. So you're gonna pull some smooth lines here, like this. Now you got everything there, the eyes, the mouth, and the, the ears. You can now switch off the drawing assist and then put the nose here, just like that. Yeah, just like that. And then you can put the reflection. 
reflection here. Now you get the lines ready, you gotta go for a new layer here and then rename it as a sketch. Like this, and then I use the appropriate pencil and then turn down the size to make it sharp. And yeah, let's start from here. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Sorry. And then now the hair, I gotta do two layers for the hair. First one is to like to sketch it out, like to draw what kind of shape of hair that I want. And then the second one is on the actual lines, like usual. Always rename your layer to um, make it easier for you. That's basically the, the lines for the hair. And then you're gonna create a new layer, which is just the hair. So that's pretty much it and then now you just turn off the headlines like this and then let's turn off the um, drawing guide because it's kind of a bit of distraction right now. Like that. And now since the hair and the, the face itself in a different layer, it's so easy to clean up. You just gotta choose the, the sketch or the face. Go to your eraser and then start erasing the line that is behind the hair. Which my style is actually um, influenced by 90s anime like Sailor Moon. Um, Tokyo Meow Meow and all of that um, Sojo anime because yeah I'm a biggest fan of Sailor Moon uh, actually I mean the Sailor Moon anime and manga is actually the the first anime that um makes me want to draw you know and i remember sailor mars it was the first character that i ever draw anyway we got the female face now and then we gotta move on to the male one let's go So after we got the female face, the first thing you gotta do is to just hide all the layers and just reveal the lines, which is the construction line. And then you gotta duplicate them. There you go. And then after you duplicate them and you have two, you gotta move the other one to the side, just around here. And the reason I'm doing this is simply because I want them to be in the same size. And 
after you got it to the side like that make sure you turn on the drawing assist and then you're gonna start erase everything except the circle and the face line gonna remove the chin the neck and there you go and then you're gonna turn on the drawing guide and then move the drawing guide to the center of the second circle like around here there you go and then yeah turn on the drawing assist and the difference is actually very straightforward which is the male face usually slightly longer with the stronger jaw and wider chin just like this one and then the neck is instead of slim and slender you're gonna make them more wider and like um, bigger and add some muscle on the shoulder to make to make it more masculine like this and there you go you got the basic um, shape of the male face and then you just gotta add those three lines on the eyes and after that everything is basically the same as the step two you gotta start draw the face and then tracing the line and the eyebrow they usually are thicker than the female so yeah just trace the line and start drawing the face Exactly the same step uh, steps as the second one. There you go. We got the female and the male generic face of anime or manga, or at least my style um, face of female and male. There you go. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Um, I know it seems uh, like it was a lot of steps. You just draw the face, but the more you do it, the more you practice your hand, you're gonna get the motions going. And then the next thing you know, you, you won't need those um, construction line anymore. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you learned something from this video today. If you guys can um, wanna check out my art, I, I mostly post it on Instagram and twitter and also i'm gonna stop giving art soon but you can check it out here Got it in here so yeah um thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys stay safe out there and i'll see you on the next one bye